nice. We actually did as well. Oh, that was brilliant. Hey everyone, hope you're good. I'm Timo and we're back on CSGO for number 24 in our £10 to a knife series. We're trying to turn £10 into a knife using just CSGO trade-ups. Please drop a like and subscribe down below and if you have any questions or just want to come chill for some CSGO and trade-ups then I stream every Wednesday and Saturday over on Twitch, there's a link in the description. We start this one with a budget of £33.25 after making a bit of profit in the last video, so we're still at more than three times what we started with, we just need to keep it going upwards from this point. Everything's worked out with Trade Up Spy for the videos, you can check them out with my link in the description, and if you get premium with cash, skins or crypto, then you can get two free days for each month bought using my link or code TIMO. So the first Trade Up we're going to do today is a slight variant of the free Trade Up from Trade Up Spy this week. It's an industrial to mil spec Trade Up mixing the control and bank collections. For this, we've got all 10 skins in minimal wear, as opposed to Trade Up Spy you had this with one factory new and 9 minimal wares, but I managed to get the floats to be able to do it with all minimal wares, so it is possible. Um, but we've got 4 from Control, these are all minimal wear obviously, um, I'll get those loaded in, and then the other 6 of them from Bank, again all minimal wear skins, so we've got all 10 in min wear, and I'll just get you guys a picture up for this so you can have a little look at it. We have a 0.086 average float for this trade up and that gets all of the outcomes into factory new with a little room to spare. This costs £1.51 so it's 170 in euros or 207 in dollars. We get a 13% return and a 47% chance to profit with small profits on three of the four control skins and then the real win from this trade up is the M4 Global Offensive which will make some really good money. The bank outcomes are losses but they all hold decent resale value as they all come in factory new so we only make little losses if we find those. Overall I'd say it's a pretty safe trade up with small wins or losses but if you get lucky and get that M4 then it's definitely real stonks. Come check out our community on discord with the link in the description and now let's see what result we get from this first one today. Control would be nice, the M4 would be really good but what's it going to be? And P2000 Dispatch, so that's alright, that's from Control, it's not the Control skin we really wanted, which was obviously the M4, but that's still good and it still makes us a little profit on the trade up. Despite the wear there, this is in factory new and it's a 0.055 float, so it's pretty similar to the Amber Fade really from Dust2 and the fact that this bit always gets really worn. Um, so yeah, good outcome anyway, that makes us like 30p or so profit I think on the trade up, so really not too bad and a nice little start to the video. Um, hopefully we can continue this look and keep it going through the other two trade ups. Alright and next up it's a restricted to classified trade up mixing Fracture, Prisma 2 and Broken Fang. For this one we have got one skin in minimal wear from the Fracture collection which is that Galil connection and then we've got another four skins in minimal wear which are all from the Prisma 2 collection so two of the Scar 20s and two of the Sword Offs. And then finally the other five skins that we've got for this trade up all in field tested and these are all from the Broken Fang collection so I'll get all these in and you guys can have a look at the picture. Keep the average float below 0.14 if you have any Fracture skins involved as that will get the XM entombed into Factory New which will give a nice chunk of profit if you hit it as opposed to it being in minimal wear. The other outcomes here will all be in minimal wear. This one costs £6.99 in pounds, so £7.86 in euros or £9.56 in dollars. We get a 25% return here and a 73.3% chance to profit, so it's good odds. And that's on the 5.7, the M4 Tooth Fairy and the Glock Vogue with little profits, and then better money on the XM Entombed, the USP Monster Mashup and then the AK Phantom Disruptor, and then finally the best profit is on the M4 Cyber Security, and that's what we really want to get here. The loss outcomes are the MAC-10 Discotech, but that is only a small loss in comparison to the cost of the trade-up. And then the MAG-7 Justice is the worst outcome. That will lose us just over half the cost of the trade-up. There's a link in the description for my Twitter for more CSGO skins and trade-up stuff. And now let's find out the result of this second trade-up. We have really favourable odds here. Let's just hope we find something profitable. 
and a Phantom Disruptor, so that's really cool. I think that's the second best outcome that we could have got, as far as I'm aware anyway. I think so. Um, I'll have to obviously just check it afterwards, but I'm pretty sure that's the second best thing. So that's cool. It's from Prisma 2, and it's a 0 0.090 float. So quite a nice minimal wear one. Um, I don't know if we've had one of these, or if we have we've not had one in this series, I'm pretty sure, of Phantom Disruptor yet. We've had the Justice, we've had the Discotech. I think this is the first time we've actually hit this as a profit outcome. So that's pretty cool to get anyway. Definitely helps add a little bit more money to the budget for us. Um, and yeah, that gives us two for two hits as well so far today. So hopefully I haven't cursed it, but we really need that third one to go our way as well. And a three for three video would be great. So here's to hoping. Okay, and the third trade up today is a stat track one from Millspec to Restricted, and it's mixing the Shadow, Revolver, and Broken Fang collections. For this, we've got three factory new skins, the Scar 20 Green Marine there, that's from Shadow, and then we've got two P2000 Imperials, and those are both from Revolver, and those are our three factory new skins that we're using. We've then got one further skin from Shadow in Minimal Wear, which is the Mac 10 Rangeen, and then these six skins here, these are all in Minimal Wear, and these are all from the Broken Fang collection. So I'll get you guys a picture up for this one. Stay below 0.07 average flow over all 10 of the skins to get factory new outcomes from the trader. This cost £8.74, so it's 982 in euros or 11.96 in dollars. We get a 27.5% return and a 48% chance to profit. With tiny profit on the Tech 9 Avalanche, a little more on the M249 Nebula Crusader, then the P250 Wingshot, then we get over a pound on the SSG08 Parallax, and then we get to the better profits with four pounds on the Galil Stone Cold and the SG Tiger Moth, over 12 pounds on the Negev Power Loader, and finally the best money is the Orp Exoskeleton from Broken Fang, which makes us over 20 pound profit. The buys on Fuel Rod and the 5.7 Retribution are only small losses. The bigger losses are the three broken fang fails, and the worst outcome is the MP7 special delivery. But crucially, nothing here can lose us half the cost of the trade-up, and that's always a key part of keeping the trade-ups profitable overall, trying to reduce the loss outcomes as best as possible unless you don't mind the risk. Please check out the links in the description and give them a click, it really helps me out. And now let's see what we're getting from this final trade-up. It's almost a 50-50 for the odds, for a profit or for a loss, Hopefully, we find the right side of the coin here. Come on. Oh, gold bismuth. So we hit broken fang, but it is one of the broken fang loss outcomes, unfortunately. If that had been a scout or an orp, it would have been a profit, and we would have finished on a 3 for 3 video. So maybe I did curse it <laughs> by saying something about it. So we got a 0 0.048 float. So it's a decent factory new float, of course. Um, should be a reasonably easy resale, I guess, at least with that. But yeah, kind of frustrating that we didn't manage to hit one of the profit outcomes. As a 48% isn't too bad odds, honestly. We've definitely hit smaller on the channel for, for things we've wanted. So yeah, kind of disappointing to get that and not to get like, yeah, any of the profit outcomes really. But never mind, it's, at least it's not too much of a loss and I do think the video should come out as a profit overall, albeit a small one. So I'll just go and work that out for you guys and I'll be back with the totals for you in a moment. So today we spent £17.24 on our trade-ups, which is 1937 in euros or 23.59 in dollars. The market prices of the items we traded up for are £21.05, so 2370 in euros or 2878 in dollars. This means a profit today after the steam tax of £1.8p, so it's 122 in euros or 148 in dollars. So it's a decent one for the budget today. We hit the first two, but then I probably cursed the third one. So really my own fault, I guess, but still a little money made to carry over to the next video. So at least it's not too bad in that respect. But thank you all so much for watching. Cheers, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.